Hey, I got a Nexstar Celstron 130 SLT telescope here. I put a video on about a year ago of hooking up to a Nikon DSLR, and I've had a few questions on people can't getting it to work, and it is kind of tricky, so I got it back out, and I'm going to attempt to do a better explanation of showing how to get it on there and have it actually function. All right, this is a normal setup for a telescope where you put your eyepiece in, slid down into this locking collar, and this is the piece you would possibly order off eBay or wherever. I got this one off China. And what this does is it basically comes like this. And you can unscrew. Let me unloosen it up. This housing out here where you drop your eyepieces in down inside. If I can get it to come out your eyepiece which normally goes in your telescope like that this you simply drop your eyepiece in or so you think so it fits all the way down in as you can see there you tighten this up and you have right now I'm running a 25 millimeter eyepiece and locked it in so if you got that and this piece here will slide over that and you can adjust your focal length and whatnot with that and you should have your t-ring adapter which is right here when you hear of t-ring adapters this is what they're talking about and that piece there will fit onto your Nikon digital camera. Now there should be a, a white dot. You put it on, lock it on. Now you can only run in manual mode this way. So when you, you get it, you'd put all this together, screw that piece on nice and tight. Like I said, I got my 25 millimeter eyepiece in. You simply, you'd think, you'd simply pull your eyepiece out of your telescope and slide this in just like this. The problem with that is you can't get a close, far enough focus, you can only focus the close things. And that's where there's questions on another video I put where people was trying to figure it out. But the key to it is taking this end cap off, which is threaded on there, basically setting it to the side, and then unscrewing off your, uh, adapter to hold the eyepiece on this locking and you're gonna see there there's some threads now I'm gonna try doing this without taking the you know, I better just pull it off the camera you're gonna take this and thread it on make sure that's tight make sure all your stuff's tight and then You're going to mount that back in there like that and this is going to be your setup. You're basically pulling this piece out, this piece here out, which holds your eyepiece in and you're taking this small piece off your telescope adapter that you had purchased, which that brings everything in closer to the scope itself. Now we're going to go ahead, I'll get the camera turned around, I'm going to turn it on and we'll see if we can see the moon. Focus it in again and here you go. And there's the moon. That's with a 25 millimeter eyepiece. You basically icons will work but they do have a thing where it says you can run it prime without any lenses it just will not focus close enough for that but it is a uh, it, you it is doable and I'm running like I said this 
Celstron, Nexstar 130 SLT, and I have the Autostar guide hooked up so it will will track. Might not be running right yet. Have to put it back in there again, but that's the setup with the GPS on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some videos of of it doing working with the telescope and the Nikon and hopefully this helps. It's a nine or a twenty five millimeter lens on here. Now we're going behind some clouds. And we're looking at a nine millimeter lens. See if I can move this a little bit. Now let's try to go down to a six or so. Twelve and a half millimeter lens is what you're looking through right now. That seems to work pretty good for viewing the moon.